Love it or hate it, Call of Duty is a juggernaut of a franchise, with new games in the series constantly breaking records, and Black Ops 3 is no exception. A game that's successful no doubt has plenty of things that fans love about it, but that doesn't mean there aren't a few things in Black Ops 3 that piss players off. Hi everyone, this is Mitchell from Game Ranks, and these are 10 things Black Ops 3 players hate. Starting off at number 10, hit detection. When it comes to hit detection in an online shooter, it's hard to be perfect, and fans will understand imperfection due to lag and other issues inherent with being an online shooter. If it happens just every once in a while, that is. But Black Ops 3's hit detection feels consistently off in a way that other shooters just aren't. Fuck. You. It's all too common to fire 10 shots at an enemy, have it look like almost all those shots hit, but only hear 4 hit marker sounds. Even if you do end up getting the kill, it still takes a lot of the satisfaction away from the gunplay because there's a disconnect between what's going on visually and what's going on in the game. If you don't get the kill, <laughs> I mean it sucks. It's a classic, oh come on that's bullshit response. Number 9, sliding is pretty much an essential movement skill in Black Ops 3, and the reliance on it leads to a lot of really annoying situations where you start moving to slide out of the way of a firefight, and instead of sliding, you just crouch. Like you're James Woods following a trail of candies in Family Guy. It's also especially annoying on PC where you can actually bind crouch and slide to different buttons, but the same issue still occurs. You need to reach a certain level of momentum before you can slide, which really shouldn't be the case because the slide is powered by jets anyway. In at number 8, look, camping sucks. Yeah, it's part of the game, and yeah, we got nothing against people that do it, but it sucks to deal with, and it might be just us, but it feels like Black Ops 3 has the most corner campers in the Call of Duty franchise. It could be the map design, like for Exodus, Aquarium, etc., or maybe that's just how players are now. Regardless, you can have team deathmatch teammates who go 2 for 25 sitting in the corner with a shotgun or an LMG, and that's just no fun. Number 7, this is a common problem among games that offer random packs of items as rewards for level up, but it's just a crappy feeling to spend all this currency on a rare supply drop, and then you get two commons and one rare, none of which are very good, and worse, multiple of which are just duplicates. That just sucks, especially in Black Ops 3 where it takes 30 freaking crypto keys to get a rare supply drop. Or of course, you know, you could just spend extra money on top of the money you spent buying the game on top of the $15 map packs, or the $50 seasons pass, or the personalization packs, or the giant zombies map, and just, holy crap Activision, what else do you want from me? You got my money, you got my time, you, you want my soul? You want my soul too, I guess? Number 6, team killing in hardcore mode is seriously just the worst on so many levels. First off, just like every other game that has friendly fire, it always sucks when some idiot runs into your line of fire, causing you to team kill on accident, or worse, when a guy kills you just to take your care package. Selfish prick. But team killing in Black Ops 3 is especially bad because of the nature of the score streak system. Getting killed by a teammate resets your score streak, which is just absolutely rage inducing, especially if you're close to getting a score streak reward that can help turn the tide of the game. Not to mention there are so many devastating score streaks in this game that have splash damage, and all too often you'll get killed by your own teammates Hellstorm or spawn right under their lightning strike. Next up at number 5, Exodus. You know how I mentioned earlier that some of the maps in Black Ops 3 feel like they're designed to encourage corner camping? Well none of them are worse about this than Exodus. This map is kind of a mess, there's too much stuff everywhere, sight lines are all out of whack and far too long, and really the worst part is that the map doesn't seem to fit well with any game mode, or feel anywhere near the quality of the other maps of Black Ops 3. When the map was out of the rotation things were great, but now it's back and every time it gets chosen I'm just like, ugh. For number 4, Falcon actually talked about this a lot in his video about why Call of Duty Infinite Warfare got so much hate, but we're just not a fan of all the crazy movement in Black Ops 3 and are really wishing that the Call of Duty franchise would return to the boots on the ground approach. It's not that the advanced movement options in Black Ops 3 are bad, it's just at times it feels at odds with what Call of Duty multiplayer is all about. Map control is less important because there are so many different ways to reach every vantage point, and it makes it so that the game is less about smartly being able to gain a positional advantage, and more about wacky jumps and jet slides. And again, that's not necessarily bad, it's just that we miss the classic Call of Duty multiplayer experience. 
Number three, this is a recurring problem with the Call of Duty series, but player collision, especially teammate player collision. Stop me if you've heard this one before. You're trying to duck out of the line of fire, turn the corner to enter the house, and once you know, there's your teammate who picked this wonderful sniping spot of right in front of the fucking doorway. We get that clipping through teammates could allow for some cheap exploits, but there's got to be a better solution than what Black Ops 3 has right now. This is not even mentioning the clusterfuck that is the beginning of every round, or the fact that teammates can run in front of your grenades and missiles. And number two, it's a general complaint, but I just know that everyone has this happen to them all the time. When you're one kill away from a score streak and you're so close to that hellstorm or talon that you can taste the burning ashes of your fallen enemies, and then you get shot from behind. There are few greater buzz kills in video games than this scenario. It's like, yeah, sometimes you can try to make it so that it's unlikely to get taken out from behind, but there are also times where it's just unavoidable, and that's a crappy feeling. To miss out on a reward for playing awesome because of something that you could do absolutely nothing about? Getting shot from behind sucks in just about every multiplayer game. And finally, number one, let's talk about flinching. Treyarch, Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer, Please consider this a formal plea to you from all of the Call of Duty fans around the world. Get rid of the flinch mechanic in multiplayer, or at the very least, tone it down substantially. You want to keep it in single player as a way to punish people for keeping their head out for too long? Cool, that's great. It's a mechanic that makes sense in that regard, but it makes no sense to keep it in multiplayer. All it does is add an annoying and random element to an otherwise fair firefight. And in a competitive game like Black Ops 3 or any future Call of Duty for that matter, what's the point of that? I get that flinch adds a more visceral punch whenever you get shot, but that can be accomplished with just visual effects without causing your aim to bounce around erratically, ruining the already slim chance you have of defending yourself. Seriously, flinch is an outdated and altogether worthless mechanic, and it's gotta go. And that's our list! As always, we appreciate civil discussion about what you agree and disagree with, so let us know what you think in the comments. I think Call of Duty is a series that occupies pretty much only the extremes of the love-hate spectrum, but we'd love to read some thoughtful feedback on what Call of Duty as a franchise could do to make its multiplayer better. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it in any way, please do us a favor, hit that like button to help us out, and if you're not already, why not consider subscribing to Game Ranks because we put out awesome videos every single day. Once again, my name is Mitchell, you can find me at JurassicRabbit on Twitter, and I'll see you next time.